50 days to go until the presidential election. Annalise Nielsen, who has been doing a spectacular job of covering the campaign and the governing and every bit of craziness in between, uh, joins us again uh, from Washington, D.C., where I look forward to hanging out with her and everyone else in the lead-up to the actual election itself. Uh, Annalise, of course, though, uh, we have to talk about what happened yesterday. And I've got to say, I, I, I do remain a little bit stunned at how, because a shot wasn't fired, because someone didn't die, story disappears. Hey, did you hear J.D. Vance saying something silly on TV? This is massive. Oh, I mean, Paul, the fact it's a second time in two months and we've got two months to go, it's that kind of sense of fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. The question is, what is the Secret Service doing? And it is hard to secure a golf course, but it's certainly not impossible. And to have the perimeter like that, not monitored to the extent that someone can go set up what we saw in that photo from the released by the local law enforcement. And this is one of the key issues in how the safety of the former president and the current Republican nominee is managed. And we're learning more after what happened in Butler, Pennsylvania, is so much of what the Secret Service does relies on the local law enforcement. And obviously they've got to step up in a place like Palm Beach because it's a wealthy area. They're used to having the former president living in the county and they still didn't have that perimeter secured. It is shocking. There's going to be questions on Capitol Hill. It's back in session for the next few weeks from Republicans there. But it is a real question. How do they keep him safe over the next few months in a country with hundreds of millions of guns? A lot of people have it out for Donald Trump. But this is serious that they had this first issue in Pennsylvania and they haven't done enough, but this has almost happened again. And there's a lot of crazy there too. A lot of crazy in the United States, all right, because of a whole bunch of issues to do with mental health, the, the lack of dealing with it and, and, and all the rest. I don't say it lightly. You know how much I care about mental health on the show. But that is part of the question here, right, let alone bad actors. But also uh, the bloke who represented the police uh, in that area basically admitted if it was Joe Biden that was playing golf, i.e. current president, much more security would be around them, but this is a former president, so you don't get the same stuff. Now, I say this for Harris, not as sitting vice president, but as potential president number one, and Trump, former president, potential president number two, they should be getting the Biden treatment right now. Not 20 days out, as soon as, they've been, as, soon as the convention's happened, they should be getting presidential level, which means when Donna wants to go outside, he's guarded. When she wants to go to the spy shop, She's guarded. Absolutely. But the sad thing with that is a presidential level security makes you as unapproachable to the public as possible. And it is supposed to be the, the idea of a presidential campaign that you're out there meeting with regular people. All this does is just remove them further from reality. So it's not a perfect solution. I completely agree. There's not anything you can throw at this that wouldn't be worth it at this point. Imagine if the worst had happened mm. yesterday, which this would be an absolute nightmare for America. But uh, also when we're talking about mental health in America, this is a, a common thing that's especially raised by um, Republicans when we're talking about gun control. The fact is, too, it's just a massive country. There's over 320 million people here. It only takes one bad actor to get this kind of access to someone as influential and important as Donald Trump at this point in time. There should be, you're absolutely right, just as much security as it possibly takes to keep him safe because this would be an absolute disaster if anything were to happen to him at this point in time. I, I, I open the show with a sort of passionate thing about why I'm impressed by Trump, right? And and this is... I'm not asking you to comment on the yay or nay of it, right? But I love that the react... The moment he was shot, fight, 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 right? The moment that, that this moment happens, the word is, oh, I didn't get to finish my golf game. In, in a culture that is the same as ours, a victimhood, where when something terrible happens, I'm going to hide in the corner. When something as significant as this happens, you'd think that they wouldn't leave the house. But nothing changes his step, right? Um... It'll be fascinating to see, uh, again, reality is there is political elements around all of these things. We know that Harris was starting not so much to take off but get out in front when it comes to the, the post-debate uh, bump, but whether that comes back to the 50-50 game, we'll all see together. We